Hello, the man with too many names is back once again, and I'm going to show you how to properly align car parts quick and easy to turn them into KNPP objects. Excuse me. <coughs> so, what you'll need is this list. It's in the description. It doesn't have every car in the game. It only has the good cars. Hardy ha. And there's also another link in the description linking to the GitHub on how to assemble your car part packs and all the other good Unity side stuff. Okay, so at this point, we'll pretend that I've got a custom bumper that I've just lined up to my car. I've done the UV mapping. That's all good. And I've got an inside and an outside of this bumper. That's the inside there. That's the outside there. So at this point, I'm ready to line up the origins to their correct locations. So referring to our list here, we will search for S14. Here it is here. And we are going to copy the Z into the Y for the 3D cursor and copy the Y into the Z. This is because Blender's default Euler is XYZ. Uh, CarX uses XZY. You can change it here if you really want to, or just do what I did and copy them into vice versa. It's all good. Uh, so now we select each of these set their origins to this 3D cursor. And now we select them both and we we do it this way. We put zeros into here and that will put everything into world zero so they export properly. We'll select both of these and we will export as an FBX to wherever we want it. Hang on a second, I did that wrong. We need to selected objects, copy, and leave the rest of these how they are. That's the one from the previous take. <laughs> I'll just get rid of those. Okay, so we will drag in our front bumper. We will create an empty S14 FB. We will reset the transform over here. And now we need to Read, write enabled. If your model uses any custom textures like uh, parking lights or stuff like that, we'd extract materials through here. All that is outlined in the GitHub, but because it's just a basic mesh, I don't need to do any of that. So we'll drag this into here. We are going to rename the inside to body no livery. Rename the outside to simply body. Now we can drag this back into here and now we can double click into here and selecting this part here is where we would, we would apply our rotations if the object is not, right, is not rotated properly in game. Chances are it isn't, so chances are you'll need negative 90, 180, like that, or it could even possibly be 180 here, but the origin point should be exactly where it is, and it's just a matter of rotating it until it lines up to how it should be. And then we would put it into a meta like that and make a build. It's all outlined in the GitHub. I'm just showing you how to get the location correct. Okay. Hope that helps.